Hi everyone, I have made some changes to our Google Classroom. So I just wanted to show you what this coming week will look like and it will probably stay this way from now on. I think that the changes that I've made are much more user friendly and I think that you will appreciate those changes. So um, whenever you go to Google Classroom, again, I'm gonna go to Student Portal, click on Google Classroom, it'll prompt you to log in, which I'm sure everyone knows how to do now. I'm going to log in as Evie just to show you from a student's perspective what it looks like. Click on our classroom and then under classwork. Okay, so this is what the week of April 20th looks like. All you have to do, as you can see, there's no more worksheets, um, choice boards, other additional things on other links. All you have to do is whatever day it is, click on it. So for Monday, you're gonna click on Monday and then click on the slide. All you're going to do is follow this slide the entire day. So it'll walk you through what you're supposed to do for today. Um, if you want to click here, it actually gives you a, if you want your child to work with me one-on-one -on -one or you have questions, it's like an appointment maker. So if you want to click on that, that'll make an appointment with me. Um, but each day the format will look very similar. So this is the Monday. It'll say good morning and what their expectation is for the day. There is a video. Whoops, sorry. There's a video that will pop up that, that your child can watch and then just click play and it should just play right in the slide. How are you feeling today? That You should have saw this from last week. There, we'll do an independent reading. If you ever see this in the corner, it's a timer. So it might help manage your time a little bit better at home. So if I ask them to read for 20 minutes, the timer is for 20 minutes and they don't need to go beyond that. Um, if there's a video, they can watch the video. Then it gives them an activity to do. If I says to read something, just keep following the slides because here are the stories that they will be reading. Um, and then again, I read the stories out loud if they wanna play it out for themselves. Here's the worksheet to fill out. Just click on it to start typing in it. If you wanna print it out, you're welcome to print it out. If you wanna handwrite it, you can handwrite it and then take a picture to me. I put in some brain breaks for your friends. Um, Math, log into iReady. Again, there's a timer. Now, when you log into iReady, obviously you're gonna have to open up a new window, but you can still play the timer and it'll ring off so you can hear it whenever you're whenever it's finished. Then you'll wanna come back to the slide, obviously. A video, and then it gives an activity. And then I also put in here like a pack up so that way they know when the day is complete. So that is what your format will look like. So that is Monday. I can show you Tuesday because it's the only one that looks a little different. Uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday, I mean, yes, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays all look very similar. Tuesdays and Thursdays look similar. So I want to show you Tuesdays. Um, I just give a reminder about our morning meeting. Again, here's a way to schedule a time with me. Message from me. How are you feeling today? Reading for 20 minutes. So these are all very similar. The next thing though for reading is that I want them to log into iReady for 20 minutes for the reading component. Here's where they're gonna practice their phonics skills, some vocabulary instruction, and some comprehension skills. Brain break, iReady for 20 minutes. And then I, and when I say iReady for 20 minutes, I'm hoping that your child is completing a lesson. If they are going into iReady and just playing learning games, I can't see that they're actually on iReady at all. So it looks like they haven't logged in throughout the whole week. So please have them complete a lesson, again, just for 20 minutes, and then they can go on and play some learning games. Um, if they choose to want to play a learning game somewhere else, that's perfectly fine with me. Then for science, we're going on vir virtual field trips this week. So they literally just keep clicking through, completing, watching the videos. The activities are all there for you. If I ever need you to send me anything, this is the way to do it. Um, but you can hand in this assignment when you're finished with it throughout the day. But if you forget to, it's not a big deal because I have access to all of this work so I can see everyone's things. Specials this week are only, are only asking you to require you to finish two activities. So I put it in Tuesdays and Thursdays um, only because the workload's a lot less on Tuesdays and Thursdays from me, but you can manage it however you feel, however you see fit. And then again, there's the cleanup. So I hope that it's a little bit helpful for you. It seems to me more organized. You don't have to go clicking through tabs. It's all just in one area. So please let me know if this works for you. I hope it works for you. And, um, I hope it's more successful. I, 
have a really good feeling that this week will go wonderfully. Not that the weeks haven't been, but we're still fixing some bugs here and there and trying to find the most efficient way for this to work online since this is what our new learning is going to be looking like. So please leave me some feedback and I wanted to show you that this is what the format will look like from now on. Thank you. Have a great day.